Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about my project for pattern recognition which is email spam filtering using a Bayesian filter. So I would like to start by giving an overview of what I'm going to talk about. The basic uh, problem which is email spam and I would like to talk about Bayesian filtering and its advantages and disadvantages. I would like to show a flow chart of the filter simulation and then uh, the experiments and results and then I would like to conclude by showing a demo of my project. So the basic problem that email users are facing nowadays is uh, email spam which accounts for about 90% of all email. So spamming is viable for spammers because it doesn't cost them too much to send spam uh, emails and uh, they can make huge profits from it. But spamming results in wastage of server space and users waste a lot of time trying to delete spam. And users are also exposed to virus and malicious attacks. So there have been many anti-spam techniques proposed to protect against spam. Some of them are, for example, header-based filters, which uh, will filter out the emails that have falsified header information. And then we have permission-based filters in which those emails that are not authorized are filtered out. And then we have content-based filters which analyze content of a message and filter spam. There are many other search filters. One of the most efficient and robust techniques used is uh, Bayesian filtering. The main advantage of this method is that um, it's adaptive to a particular organization, so it's not a static method. So what uh, happens is that uh, it's it becomes hard for the spammer to trick the filter because the spammer has to know inside information about the organization, which is not possible. So the basic uh, idea that the filtering works on is that most events are dependent and if uh, an event occurs now there's a good probability that it occurs in future so based on that principle we can implement the bayesian filtering so uh, how uh, we initially create a bayesian filter and then we use some set of good and bad email that is obtained from that organization and we use it to train the filter so once the filter has been trained, what happens is that uh, the set of words and uh, the spam probabilities are calculated and they're stored in a list. So whenever a new email is received, then uh, the overall spam probability of the email is calculated by the spam probabilities of individual words. So uh, the formula that is presented in this slide is used to do that. We can see that the spam probability of the email depends on the individual spam probabilities. So the main advantages of this method is that it adapts to the organization that uses it and uh, it's trained with that organization's uh, particular data. And uh, one more major advantage, advantage is that the rate of false positives is really low. Uh, it's almost close to 0%. And uh, it's also multilingual, which means that we can use it uh, to filter out spam that has been created in any language. And it's also self-adaptive as it learns from new spam and keeps itself updated. There are a few disadvantages, for example, Bayesian poisoning. So what happens here is that the spammer adds a lot of neutral words to the spam message, which reduces the spam probability of the email and uh, the spam might actually escape the filter. And uh, another disadvantage is that the learning rate is really slow. So it takes around two weeks for the filter to be actually effective. And it's also difficult to process emails in a message. So this is a flowchart of uh, my implementation. Uh, I've taken the filter and uh, trained it using a set of data. So what happens is that the words are stored in a list and uh, some spam probabilities are assigned to the words. And whenever we give it a new input message, 
uh, the filter extracts the 15 most interesting words from the message and based on those 15 words it calculates the spam probability of the entire message if that exceeds 0.9 the message is declared as spam otherwise it's declared as not spam so um, I have performed uh, like I've tried to implement the filter and uh, I've done it in Java so uh, after creating the filter I trained it using two large files one consisting of good email and one consisting of spam email I've obtained those uh, emails from public database so once uh, the training is done uh, a hash map containing all the words and their spam probabilities is obtained so whenever we give some sample messages uh, it calculates the spam probability based on those words and uh, if it exceeds a threshold of 0 0.9 the email is considered to be spam and then I've tested it using uh, 20 messages and all the time correct results were obtained so it, it has been classified correctly with, uh, into ham or spam messages there has been a lot of work done in this field uh, the first known Bayesian filter was Jason Rennie's file program in 1996 and one of the major breakthroughs in Bayesian filtering was done by Paul Graham he calculated uh, he has implemented his own method for Bayesian filtering and he has managed to reduce the false positive rate by a great deal so it, it is being widely used for commercial filtering uh, and dead to spam and spam prob are some of the best open source uh, Bayesian filters so there are certain points that I would like to highlight uh, which is that it's hard for spammers to spoof this filter because it's adapted to a particular organization and it's hard to obtain information uh, for each organization before spamming uh, another important point is that we have to bias the filter against false positives to make it work properly also uh, we can observe that this filter is actually good at filtering spam using uh, uh, containing images although it can't process images this is because the message body usually has an URL which has a high spam probability and makes it uh, be, it makes it filtered out and then uh, the good thing is that valid automated email like news filters will not be filtered out usually it's also good to use uh, 15 most interesting words instead of using all the words so that way uh, the neutral words cannot decrease the spam probability of the email so uh, in conclusion I would like to state that uh, the Bayesian spam filtering is one of the most robust and efficient techniques that is being used to protect against spam uh, there is no perfect filter as of now but uh, this Bayesian filters have been shown to give uh, success rates of over 99% there are certain areas in which uh, the filter can be improved for example we can make the filter capable of processing images in the message and we can also make the filter calculate spam probabilities of phrases instead of words because that makes it more sensitive to spam we can also make the filter self-adaptive instead of uh, giving it email uh, manually we can make it uh, get the new email by itself and update itself with the latest spamming techniques this makes sure that the filter is up to date i would like to thank my professor dr wu for his guidance throughout his project uh, i would like to uh, show an uh, a demo of my implementation before I conclude the presentation so uh, this is the filter that I've implemented in Java so um, I have used two public database files which has a good email and spam email 
so um, I have uh, created the spam filter in Java and I fed these two uh, email databases to the filter so the spam filter will create a hash map and store the words and their spam probabilities in it so once that is done over here I used about 20 sample input messages which are given here and uh, I fed it to the filter so uh, if we run the program so uh, this is the output that I got for example it says sample 2 is a valid message so it means that the text file that I sent ha has a good email and not a bad email so I've checked the output for all the 20 messages and uh, it turns out to be correct in all the cases we can test it further with uh, more messages so uh, I would like to conclude uh, this presentation thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, present my project